So the next step along the way in building drawers is to mark them out. We're going to transfer marks from our tails to the uh, pin board, which in this case is the drawer front. I'm searching for a piece of sacrificial wood. Yeah. When I set these up, um, in this case, since the drawer is going to be running along the flat bottom of the cabinet, what we're going to be doing is setting this so that the drawer side and the uh, drawer face are flush at the bottom. Then I make sure that my shoulders are touching on both sides. Now I mark out Use a knife. The knife I use allows me to go flush up against the tail, but oftentimes I'll come in at a slight angle. If there's anything lingering on the inside of your pins, or the access to your pins, this is the time where you want to remove that. Sometimes, if your knife is fairly sharp, you could probably do that with your knife. Now it's also key to align the sides. I mark this one right with the, the R indicating that this is the outside face. And the, uh, <clears throat> of course you want to orient the top correctly to the top so that when these go together, they're going to go together nicely. It's very easy to get disoriented when you're dealing with very similar looking parts. And so it's good to uh, to mark out everything specifically and keep an eye out on your marks, make it a habit. You can see we've got our marks on this side. I like to mark everything at the same time so that I can move my train of thought to another process. Once this is complete, Okay, so now that we've flipped the board around and now the top is on this side, we have to also keep in mind to do the same for our boards for the sides. Again, lining up the bottom, lining up the shoulders. Making sure not to move the parts after you do both of those things. And then transferring marks. While I'm transferring marks, I'm also inspecting the cutout and chopping of the tails to make sure that I did it correctly and don't have any lingering, um, let's say, pieces floating in the in between the dovetails, they will uh, cause you some aggravation in the fit up. You want to eliminate that now so you don't have to diagnose the problem later on. Okay, we had our top aligned to our top. That's correct. <clears throat> now we can put the drawer face aside. mark this we want for our top and the bottom bottom being more important because we're actually going to modify our top cutting the dimension a little shallower and since we're dealing with uh, basically quarter sawn wood what I'd like to do is as the grain gets wider here I'll cut off the top from this side because this is more ideal grain than that it doesn't make much of a, a difference at this point but you might as well bias things in your favor
Okay, so that is the bottom facing this way. We're going to have our right hand side drawer on this side. This is how it's going to be assembled. I'm going to align the drawer back to uh, to the mark that I put on my drawer side that indicates where I want the bottom to fit. Then I'm going to look through the assembly to make sure that I'm basically hitting my baseline. Next is transfer marks. You can see I have a ton of uh, knife marks on my uh, chop here from doing exactly what you see me doing right currently. <laughs> now, since that is the <clears throat> right hand side, we're going to mark it. I'm also going to put marks on these tails. Sorry, pins. So I know exactly what I'm doing there. Flip this around. <clears throat> Mark the opposing side, making certain again to orient the board correctly and to line up the bottom to the mark. Make sure my baseline looks good and then mark out. Make sure you can see your marks. I always like to mark between them with a pencil just so I can make sure that I'm doing that right. And then we know where our bottom is, where our top is, and so forth. Okay, so since I have this in the vise here and my saw handy, I'll just go ahead and cut these. Making certain to damage a few things along the way. We're cutting on the outside of the line, basically using the teeth to just barely touch the line. <clears throat> it's a good idea to cope out the waste between these while well, you got it in the vise here.
while we're working on the back, we might as well cut the back shoulders. 